Let's crack in to the five really good, I'll throw three, three in there. <laughs> One, two, three things, whatever. This is a great video, carry on. Hi everybody, my name is Luke Magne. My business is Cloud Media. I'm a videographer based in Essex. I film and edit pretty much everything going, but not weddings. And I am here because Claire has invited me to do a guest vlog on her website. So here we are. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my five top tips to get your video started. Um, if you're new to video and you've, nev you've never done anything with a video, not even cracked out your smartphone, um, I'll show you some really great things just to get you started. And I'm also gonna share with you three really important things I think anybody who has a business should be doing if they're gonna be taking their video online seriously. And they're all free and they're all fun and I think some really great tips here. So I really think you're gonna get a lot from this vlog. And if you've got any questions about any of them, please get in touch and I'm putting a thing at the end of the video about how to do that. Something you may notice is I do talk quite fast. Uh, when I do get in front of the camera, I get quite excited and quite animated. So apologies in advance for that one. Um, I'll, I'll try and wheel it in when I can do. So let's begin. First off, if anybody's gonna start getting into the video, before we even start the video side of things, I really recommend doing these three things. I call it the Google Trilogy, okay? So we're gonna have these three parts of the trilogy. Of course, the name including the name. Google Plus. I know no one uses it, but I'll come back to it in a second. Google My Business and YouTube. With these three combined together, I think it's gonna really help your, um, your SEO as well as other things that make Google happy with you. So the first off, Google My Business. If people can find out geographically whereabouts you are, that's gonna help them an awful lot, knowing if they can immediately even get in touch with you to work out if they can work business with you. I'm not gonna go too deeply into why, what these three things are. Do, some, uh, do have a look around and see what Google My Business can do. But it's really, really a good idea if you can get your business registered on there, get yourself a place map on the marking, so when people do search for your business or your keywords, however you're doing it, you get a place map on your hits, and that really carries a lot of weight on it, so in its own right. As well as this, the branding that you can do with Google, and this is the, really the key thing I wanna get across here, the branding available to you is really, really special. So you've got your Google My Business, you've got that set up, you've got your place map, happy days. The next thing to get set up under your company branding is your Google Plus page. Now you might wonder, Google Plus, does anyone even use that? Probably not is the fair answer to that one. It was Google's idea of being social media. It didn't really take on as well as they'd hoped to. However, use it because one, you're using their stuff and Google see you using their stuff. They like this and they're gonna give you a little bit more percent on the SEO and boost your page just that little bit more. And why would you say no to that when it's free and it's easy to do? It's another five seconds copy and paste from the same thing you may be posting on your LinkedIn, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your um, Pinterest if you're using it, you know, just as another social media, you might as well put it on there with a picture and see how it goes on. So once you've got your Google My Business set up and all the good things that comes with you, you then set up your Google Plus branding. The third thing to get branded up in connection with your Google Plus and with my Google My Business is of course YouTube. When you've got these three things combined, I call it the Google Trilogy. And when you've got these three things connected, the fact that you're using Google stuff and you're using their search engine and using their system and they're using the listings and all the rest of it, because you're using their stuff, they'll reward you for that one and they'll give you a little boost in the, um, in, in the search engines and all the rest of it like that. And rather than just having a YouTube page, it's leveraging the stuff that Google have on offer. There's probably loads of other stuff from Google you can also brand in, connect in. I don't know what those are at this point. The only three I suggest for anybody getting started, and it is just a getting started stage. I mean, you can put so much stuff plugged into Google, it's ridiculous. Um, but it's also brilliant, don't get me wrong. Those are the three things to get set up and ready before you even open up your camera, okay? Now, camera time. Now you've got those three things set up. Let's have a look at your videos. First question people ask me is, why would I go on a camera? Why would, I, why would anybody want to see what I'm talking about? The fact is you're running a business and people want to find out either about you as an individual, about you as your business, about what you actually do, and if you're any good at it. Bonus bit of content here for you is the three videos I suggest to anybody getting started. It's, um, I call it like a starting bundle pack, if you will. Three videos I really recommend people use when they're doing a video, uh, doing stuff for their website. Number one, about us. The about us page is so important on any website. A lot of people just finish some just general, da, 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 da. we've been in companies since 1963, we're family run it. No one's really fussing about that anymore. It's so standard, people just skim through it. If you throw in a video, it makes people stop and watch and take that bit more interest in what you do and what you're talking about and who you are, either as a person, if you're gonna be in front of the camera presenting, so they get to know you before they've even picked up the phone. It's a great rapport starter. And you haven't even done anything. This could be done at three in the morning when you're asleep, which is really quite, really quite cool. People also just get to learn your personality and a bit more about you just from seeing your face. And when they phone your company and they actually speak to the person they've just been watching, some cool stuff goes off in the brain. They're like, oh, it's like I'm speaking to a famous person. I had this recently um, with, a, with another media company who I spoke 
spoke to and I, I've been back and forth with them. When the guy phoned me, I was like, oh, the other guy from the video. And I just geeked out a little bit. But that's, maybe that's just me. But I do think there's something in there. And the second video I recommend to people getting started on a website is what you do. Demonstrations, demos, um, product information videos. You offering a service or a good or a product. Show people what you do. Show people what you're sharing and what you're working with and what you're delivering. Um, it could be something really nice and obvious, like you are, you're a food manufacturer or you're a takeaway or um, let's think what other things are out there. I mean, for example, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a videographer. I've got a camera in front of me. It's me on the camera demonstrating me using cameras, um, for example. So if you can actually showcase what is you talking about rather than we process, da, 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 da. again, text, it's boring. People don't really engage in it anymore. Um, by all means, have it in your website, maybe as a transcripted thing so people can read the stuff if they're in an environment where they can't hear it because they're at work or the office or whatever or on the train. But if they can read the stuff that's in your video, that's just another option to do. It's, it's, it's free content. Demonstrations about what you do, how you do it, and so forth. Even if you're an accountant or something a bit dry, you can still do video on this, explaining what you do. How do you help the customer? What is it you actually provide? Why would somebody get in touch with you f to work out about your business? It's that why thing, okay? Really important, not about so much how, but more so why. And the third video, and these are really, really good. All right, really, really good. Customer testimonials. If you can get a customer, it could be a favorite client, a customer, somebody who's worked with your business for a length of time, even just a single project. If they've really enjoyed the process, the customer service that you've offered them, the service, the, the end product that you provided, if they're really, really excited about what you've just done, ask them about doing a video testimonial. Now, it can either be yourself going to the office. If you want to get a media company, they can go into the office as well to where they are. Or even if they're, if they're a home user, go to their home. Um, and if you can take just a minute, two minutes to have them recording to camera, I've been using such and such Clo for a couple of weeks. They've been really great servicing. The website's fantastic, they built for me, or uh, my kitchen's never looked cleaner after the Scrubber Dub 3000. <laughs> um, there's loads of different things they could be talking about. But the fact that they've taken time out of their day to get in front of a camera, which a lot of people are terrified about, which is, you know, absolutely fair enough. Um, carries a lot of weight uh, and it carries more impact than a bit of text saying, um, really great Scrubber Dub 3000, D Smith, Hartlepool or whatever. You know, it just carries more weight and its impact and it's being that bit different in your website using video as your tool to do that, which I believe will set you above the rest of your competition. Okay, they're easy to do. They don't take much complication in hardware. You don't need anything mega super graphics and all that kind of stuff. I mean, on the videos that I do, I have very minimal or graphics. You've already seen, I just put a little lower third in the bottom down there um, and maybe a little transition or something. I'm not doing a Sky Sports splash kind of thing. It's, it's just not, it's not my client base. It's not what we do. So those are the three videos I definitely recommend people getting done. Now, you've got your ideas for your videos. You've done your Google Plus. Let's crack in to the five really good, I'll throw three, three in there. <laughs> One, two, three things, whatever. This is a great video, carry on. Here are your five really great things to give your message and give your videos clout. And you'll see why I've just done that. So on here, we've got clout and I'm gonna to explain to you how to make this work using your smartphone, okay? So first off, the C of clout is very simple. Clean your lens. If you're using the front facing camera, I'm just gonna crack this out on here just to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. If you're using the front facing camera, which a lot of people tend to do because they can see themselves on the viewfinder. If you're looking at yourself, sideways please. If you're looking at yourself on here, this camera, if you think about it, has been on your ear and all the hair products and all the other stuff. And you're gonna get this little film, this little, some people call it a soft focus. I call it ear gunge. Just give it a little wipe, two seconds, and you can have a nice clear HD image. So first off, clean your lens. The second part of it when you're doing a video is to look at your lens. Now you notice that throughout this video, I'm been staring at this lens down the barrel to give you the excellent eye contact, which is so important, not only in conversation generally, but particularly in video. Now if I look, and you might have seen it on the viewfinder there, if I look just the top corner of the ring above where the lens is, I've lost contact with you. I'm not looking at your eyes. I could be looking at something else interesting. I could be looking at a script behind the page or so forth or whatever it is. I've just lost that contact with you. And now I'm back with you. Now something else. Now I'm back with you. From my point of view, that's a, that's an inch. It's, it's really nothing. If I look a little bit further to the viewfinder of the camera, I'm, my eye, I'm seeing myself now. I am way off base. So clean your lens, look at your lens. The O of clout is to have your objective. What is your objective? What are they gonna learn in your video? Um, you may see a lot of YouTubes, it's kind of the standard script now. Okay, everybody, in this video, you're gonna learn how to make 15 types of cheese using what's left in your fridge. Straight out of the gate, you've explained, I don't know why I use cheese, it's just the default go-to I have. 
when you're talking about stuff and um, when you explain your objective of the video, people know straight out the gate, what are they going to learn watching this video? You saw me do that at the top of this one. I explain what I'm going to share with you. So people know whether I want to bother watching this video, what I'm going to get from it. You know, where's the value? And hopefully from this point, you've already got more than the title suggested. That's the O, so the objectives. The U is for, very loosely, it's unique, it's personality. One wicked thing about video is that you can get your personality transported across way, way more than you could with text or pictures. Um, hopefully through this video you've seen that I'm very animated, I'm, 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 I like to hope I'm agreeable, um, and I've got a lot of energy about me. You can't really transfer that across using just text and maybe a couple of pictures. So you is for you, you and your personality. Um, it's, some people recommend that your energy should be increased by about 20% how you normally are. I think that's about right. Uh, I'd go with that sort of 20% more than usual. You don't want to go all full on kids and tenors, hey everybody, you're going to learn about how to make 15 types of cheese, all right? It's, it's, it's too much, it's too much. And hopefully that wasn't too much for you. And if that went too loud in the microphone, I apologize. Um, so that's just uh, an example of, of you, you know, to, to bring your personality and your uniqueness to your videos. And the T, it's for time, and it's also a little bit about um, tell them what to do next. So I'll, I'll touch upon the time. Time is about how long should a video be? Uh, it's a question I get commonly asked, and it should only be as long as it should be. It's a simple question. Uh, it's a simple answer to the question. Um, the reason I say that is I've seen some videos where they'll get across the message and then they'll start laboring on about, okay, so like I said earlier on, make sure you do 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 and you, you, you have a five minute video that's now gone into six, into seven, and your audience start tailing off because you're just laboring the point. So hopefully I'm gonna stop there with that in mind. The other T is about tell them what to do. Now, this may not be applicable on the three videos I mentioned earlier on, but particularly if you're doing something in YouTube or as part of a sales marketing funnel video, for example, um, when people have watched a video, you need to tell them what to do. You think people watch a video, okay, I like what they want, I'm just gonna go and buy your product. Not necessarily. Again, this is why on YouTube people say, right, comment down below what you want to see us do next in the video. Or, um, now you've seen this video, I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, there's a link in the description below about how you can join our marketing list so we can send you loads of stuff. Telling people what to do next gives people direction. Otherwise, they'll just go and wander off and say something about cats falling out of trees or, um, well, my, my recent thing, and I'll share this with you because I think it's brilliant. Um, I'll start watching 80 style videos. So 80 styles covers of popular music, of modern songs, brilliant. Just. Look it up if you, if you really have nothing else to do, but it's really, really good. Anyway, going way off tangent, bring you back into the room. I think we're there. That's about it. Um, I'm going to stop there because I don't want to be a victim on my own, uh, hoisted by my own petard about labouring the point. But very quickly, last catch up, right? Let's see how much we've re retained here. And if you're making notes through here, brilliant stuff. Let's go. Google My Business. Branded up because you can set up personals and you can set up a brand account. So make sure it's branded. Google Plus, link it in. Google, uh, YouTube, link it together. Nice three power strong Google My Trilogy, okay? Then make sure you've got an, uh, something written down for your About Us video, what your business is and how it does sort of things, as well as your customer testimony videos. And then when it comes to actually filming, clean your lens, look at the lens. What's the objective? What are people gonna learn from watching your video? Be you, be personality, and T, tell them what to do and beware of time. I've been Luke from Clout Media. This is my guest vlog. I really hope this has been of interest to you. If you want to find out more about what I do, my website is clout.media and I look forward to hearing from you soon. I wish you all the best in your video exploits and uh, what you're going to be up to and so forth and your challenges and all the wonderful things that video can bring. And if I can be of any further assistance, please do get in touch. I look forward to helping you soon. In the meantime, I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon watching this video or morning, depending where you are in the world. Uh, I was doing so well in my closure. Never mind, that's how it works. All the best. Thank you very much and good night. Goodbye for now. I'm just going to go. Cheers. Bye bye.